my beloved. Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 8. My beloved, this was a golden name, that the ancient church was accustomed to giving to the anointed of the Lord during her most joyous moments. When the season of the singing of birds arrived, and the voice of the turtle dove was heard in her land, her love note was sweeter than them all, as she sang, My beloved is mine, and I am his. He feeds his flock among the lilies. Consistently in her Song of Songs, the ancient church calls him by that delightful name, My Beloved. Even in the long winter, when idolatry had withered the garden of the Lord, her prophets were able to find moments to temporarily set aside the burden of the Lord, and to say, as Isaiah did, Now, let me sing to my well-beloved, a song of my beloved, regarding his vineyard. Though the saints had never seen his face, though as yet he was not made flesh, nor had dwelt among us, nor had man beheld his glory, yet he was the consolation of Israel, the hope and joy of all the chosen, the beloved of all those who were upright before the Most High. Now, in the summer days of the church, we are also accustomed to speaking of Christ as the most beloved of our soul, and to feel that he is very precious, the chief among ten thousand, and altogether lovely. It is so true that the church loves Jesus and claims him as her beloved, that the Apostle Paul dares to defy the whole universe to separate her from the love of Christ, and declares that neither persecutions, distress, affliction, peril, or the sword, have been able to do it. Indeed, Paul joyously boasts, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Oh, that we might know more of you, Lord, the ever-precious one. My sole possession is thy love, in earth beneath, or heaven above. I have no other store, and though with fervent suit I pray, and importune thee night by day, I ask thee nothing more. Amen.